Okay, the sensor is out and look at that. This is very bad, man. I think... What? I don't know. I am at loss of the words. Okay, guys, this video is about a very important fact. If you don't want to fry your ECU. The thing happened to me was that this is my uh, Honda Fit. This is also case swap. This is my CRD. This is also a case swap. So, I, there is a friend of mine on the workshop. I sent my car because I needed to replace the clutch. Okay? So, what they did was they... They removed the this speed sensor okay so that this grip should not be broken you know there is a rubber washer in it okay so what they did was when they installed it okay this sensor is not supposed to be going all the way inside okay now i will go under the car and show you okay 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 they applied the screw over here and they kept tightening and kept tightening so what happened was that sensor was gone completely inside. When they started the car, the car started, but when they put his gear to get it out of the workshop, the car stopped. The dash just died. Even the scanner did not work. What happened was the ECU was completely fried. And along with that, because it was locked to Hondata, my Hondata Flash Pro was even not unlocking. So I imported a new ECU, but my Flash Pro was Pro was locked to the previous ECU. I tried to repair that ECU here. Then I had to send that ECU to USA and along with my Hondata Fresh Block. Okay, nearly cost me $200. Then Hondata charged me again $100. Then on return, the, my country Pakistan ship uh, customs charged me $600. So that's nearly $800. Okay, in that I could have bought a new Flash Pro, but we learn from our mistakes okay so to make the system foolproof so that uh, again this mistake does not cost, cost me near 800 dollars i keep saying 800 dollars because i did not uh, know at this point that i will uh, fry four speed sensors uh, during for, for finding the right washer size okay so that's why what i'm gonna do is i am gonna remove the uh, speed sensor vss sensor okay i keep uh, saying vss sensor rather this is css sensor counter shaft speed sensor the vss is older one this one mechanical one and the vss sensor fits in the back of the transmission it came with older hondas prior to 2004 after 2005 they came with a newer uh, sensor which is magnetic type css sensor that fits on the front of the transmission and then i am gonna just push it until it is stopped by the rubber grommet then i'm gonna measure the distance between transmission and the sensor and then i am gonna put some washers in it okay for by mistake it is over tightened then there will not so now i will measure the distance then i will try different washers okay okay so the reading is in it is 3 mm okay so now i will measure the washer which is 3 mm and then i thought that this o-ring is worn out that's why my sensor is going extra in so i replaced it with a new o-ring okay and i because the honda did not originally include any washer in it so i just uh, applied a new o-ring and then tighten the sensor and measure the distance between the transmission and the sensor and that was nearly 3 mm so i was uh, planning to search for a 3 mm washer so i put a washer as you can see in between the uh, sensor and the transmission and then i tighten the screw not over tighten and then i took her for a spin okay the 3 mm washer uh, speedo is not working okay and i have a check engine light so i don't know it is super sensitive that even if a micrometer is off or in that does, will not work so oh, now what I will do is I will remove those washers and see if the speedo does work or not. At this time because speedo was not working I thought uh, the sensor is uh, far away from the gear teeth. Instead I did not notice that on first gear my sensor got fried and it was continuously touching and luckily my ECU did not get fried in my Honda Fit but in my CRZ I was not lucky. So next I did what I did was it was further stupid but I did not know at this point. I just installed the sensor without any washer okay I just uh, 
thought that Honda that O-ring rubber O-ring let it stop the sensor but what happens it that O-ring when heats up it loosens and then the sensor as it is magnetic sensor it is automatically pulled in by the gear teeth and then short circuit happens and you if you are lucky enough the ECU will not get fried uh, otherwise you will be standing in the middle of the traffic nowhere and if that happens don't panic just open the uh, bonnet and unplug the uh, sensor grip and then just turn off the ignition and turn uh, engine turn on again and it will start but with the error okay but at least you will uh, dry home and if your issue is fried the first indication will be the immobilizer light will not come on that green little key when you turn on the, the ignition that will not come on and no scanner will work you will connect to obd2 board and nothing they will not connect to do ecu nothing will be readable and a lot of dash light will be visible okay and that means your ecu is dead and i also got burned because i was on the road and the car was just in the middle of traffic when this thing happened the car shut off itself so i was blocking the whole traffic so i hurriedly uh, okay put my hand through there and ungrip the uh, vss sensor so the pipe of the intercooler or something else was very hot so that's i got severe burn here and another spot let's open the sensor and see if it touched or not what happened this was now i did not use any washer and look at that what happened how did this happen now what i will do is i'll put a new sensor in okay let's put this luckily uh, these sensors were cheap at the junk yard so i bought two new because i knew uh, the balance is so delicate i will destroy furthermore so right now i was uh, aiming to discover what that uh, balance is okay and so i was thinking let's uh, uh, put the car on the jack stand and uh, put her in the gear and slowly pushing the sensor in and uh, someone else will be uh, seeing the speed inside the car and as soon as the speed sensor is detected we will uh, think that that is the main point and then we will measure that distance with the vernier caliper and put appropriate washer in it now you see why i decided to put her on a jack deck stand before because i did not want to be trapped again in the traffic and again pull that hot uh, uh, because the space is so tight in my fit and i don't want to get my hand burned so until i figure out solution the car was on jack stands okay not good this is other sensor the car has chewed it off I'll try this one. So I thought the 4 mm washer will work, but let's see. So the sensor is out, and you can see I was lucky the ECU was not damaged again. So this time, and the damage was not so much, so that's why I was hopeful that I was near the breakthrough of the balance. Uh, but at that time, unlucky, I exhausted all my three sensors, so I was on the hunt for the new sensor. So we are going for fuel rail hunting and also for the speed sensor change look at the traffic weather is good so after successful trip and the rates are very cheap injector flow tested in 15 dollars sensor bought for 10 dollars washers are for free and this fuel rail is for free so gotta love my city how cheap it is but you gotta live with these things okay these things and these things, junky cards and everything, okay? Yeah, everything has its perks and cons. I'm happy. And guys, uh, I also look at the Honda manual, and Honda also did not have any washer, okay? This is just this thing, and uh, the number 31, this is O ring, okay? Look at that with 31. This is the O ring, and number 18 is the sensor. The Panasonic one the 19 is okay and 34 is the bolt that's it so one is the o-ring that's the sensor and that's the screw so Honda why Honda did you not put any washer here okay at this point and so many people are suffering that's negligence from the Honda and uh, automatic and manual transmission use the same sensor another thing I 
put my finger in this the hole in the sensor goal and i was seeing this line this crease and my tip was touching the gear teeth so look at that so still sensor is long okay so we definitely need to put sensor slightly behind so it has stop reading okay so you see there is very fine line so at this point i knew the balance was between 4 mm and the 5 mm but there are so much distance between 4 and 5 mm okay and sensor was so sensitive that uh, if it was further away there was no speed signal if it was further in there was uh, short circuiting decently spaced okay i put it in gear and look at that speed was working so at last the success was in sight and let's uh, take out the washer and mirror or 6 okay so 4.5 is okay look at that these are the same washer so <clears throat> so as we saw with the 4.5 mm washer <laughs> when i took the car on the road the speedometer on acceleration it was fine but if i put it on the neutral but still car is and running it suddenly comes to zero okay and then fluctuates and then after some time i got the error uh, of the vss circuit okay so now almost i got speedo working but it was not working properly the needle suddenly dropped because still the 4.5 mm distance was far away okay and the distance and uh, now the balance i knew was between the 4 mm uh, at 4 mm the sensor touched the gear teeth and it shortened but at 4.5 mm and the uh, it was far away so the balance uh, had to be found between 4 and 4.5 mm okay so then i was on the phone with the, uh, my good friend and he had a workshop he do, does a lot of case work and he told me that he, he had same issue okay and he recommended me this cheap solution he said this these password jdm uh, fender washers okay these you can get 10 in just 4 dollars okay these washers fender washers whatever you call them okay so these little things he said he used these and never got a problem okay so now i'll be trying that and uh, let's measure them okay and uh, uh by the picture over the internet when the uh, sellers are measuring it it measures 4.15 mm okay and uh, let's uh, measure for our own sake also so it is nearly 4.16 or 4.15 and this is very cheap solution for such a uh headache okay this is very cheap solution just 4 dollars 10 washers okay let's change the washer and if you are wondering this is the same car just the wrap has been removed this was white and now this is its original color here it is now let's start the car and see let's see if we get an error or whatever <laughs> so at last guys the issue has been resolved with that decoration washer whatever you call the jdm fender washer with a size of 4.15 mm look at that the speedometer just working like it should be now i'll put the car in neutral and look it will not come suddenly down okay and now i have put it in neutral and look at that it is staying there before it was just dropping suddenly okay when i was putting the car in neutral but now it's just slowly coming down as the speed is coming down and now i am putting it put in it gear and it is rising just like it should so that was it for this nightmare the vss nightmare after frying one ecu on data flash pro so much expense so much headache but at last we have solved this problem once and for all okay, okay we are back from the drive and uh, i thought let's why not open it up and see if it touches or not and you, so you can see it's absolutely fine so give the video a like and subscribe and Bye bye